Hello guys, welcome back to the channel once again today. I'm super, super, mega excited to be sharing this video with you guys. If you don't know, the L World Generation Q came to an end. The final episode was the Beth and Tina's marriage. But I just wanted to speak about the whole relationship, love triangle relationship that happened with Danny after she broke up with, you know, with Gigi. And then meeting, you know, Roxy and then also falling for Dre at the same time. So it's a lot going on when it comes to Danny his love life but before we get into more details please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and let me know your personal thoughts regarding her whole love life on the show for this season and i also want to say thank you thank you so much once again for all the love and all the support you guys been showing i really do appreciate it and let's not waste any more time and let's get right into it so in the beginning of season three you can actually see that you know daniel was planning on moving in with gigi but gigi had her own personal doubt you know on making that this specific move so as time progresses um Danny actually found out that after Gigi suffered her accident you know that she was having thoughts on what about her ex-wife Nat so what ended up happening is that you know Danny wasn't feeling the behavior that Gigi was happy you know was having and she ended up you know deciding to break up their relationship because Gigi said that she, she she's actually confused and that she needs time so Danny actually dealt with the breakup very well and then Roxy came in the picture Roxy is actually a, a long long-term friend of Danny they've been like they know they've been knowing each other for a long 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 time and they always have fun every time they link up and then yes there are feelings between them but Danny can never see herself being Roxy because she doesn't live in the US she actually lives in Puerto in Costa Rica Puerto Rico if I'm not mistaken so it's like she's never at one place she's always on the move and Danny wants someone that's at one place and stable you know and Dre on the other hand is actually the person that you know sophie used to hook up with while finley was in rehab so there's a lot of you know situations going on but what ended up happening is that you know danny decides to give three a chance and everything was going well for them but then danny started to get the cold field feed sorry because three actually told danny that she loved her and danny didn't know how to respond to that situation because she's not ready you know to like not that she's not ready ready to be in love with Dree said so she's just not there mentally yet with Dree so she ended up having this very difficult situation with Dree going on because now she doesn't know how to respond to Dree but she also does, doesn't want to lose her but on the other hand you know Roxy she came back in the picture at the end of uh, at the last episode of the show and Roxy actually you know said to Danny but prior to that she actually said to Danny that whenever your heart heals let me know and I'm gonna come running so at the end of the episode Roxy she made another appearance and she actually told Danny that she found herself a condo in you know in LA and that she's planning on staying in LA and of course Danny was happy because that's what she wants she wants to be with Roxy you know but it's just very difficult for them to get on the same page because of this whole stable situation but then at the same time while, while they were having their moment at bed in, in Tina's wedding. Dre actually shows up and see you know Danny and Roxy making out and she was so confused because Danny actually called Dre and told her she loves her but she was also under the influence so I don't know if she really meant it I don't feel like she really meant it in that way does she care for Dre yes but I don't feel like she's in love with Dre and there's something that she needs to speak you know on because we Dre is not a bad person yes she she is a, she has a different type of personality but she's really into Danny and we all know that Danny right now her head is really with Roxy and also in the middle of all of that Danny actually found out that Gigi and Nat are engaged and she actually handled the situation very well and she realized that she's over Gigi and that she wants nothing to do with Gigi anymore and who was by her side once again Roxy was by her side when she realized that moment so at this point for me i just feel like roxy is danny's so man roxy is danny's person but there's also drew someone that danny cares about and that shows her a lot of love and really shows genuine attention towards her but i don't feel like you know danny is there mentally like where drew is with her and that will end up causing them a lot of situations 
I don't know if there's gonna be a next season. Hopefully there will be because I feel like this storyline between Danny, Roxy and Gio will be very interesting to see how it will develop, you know, in the following uh, uh, season if there will be one. But I'm just happy that this time around Danny, she have decided to handle her love life differently. She saw that Gigi wasn't you know giving her the same energy back she made a decision she broke up with Gigi then she reconnected with someone that she really loved and it's more than just a lover to her but also like a best friend in this case Roxy and they finally figured out a way you know to 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 explore the feeling that they have for one another but then here come Dre in the picture Dre at the beginning she also just wanted to woke up with Danny but she ended up falling for Danny and then it you know wasn't just like already said wasn't mentally ready to pursue you know the the love that Danny was showing her so it's a very very complicated love triangle situation going on but I'm really happy for Danny I really really am like the whole thing she went through with Sophie and then falling for Gigi and then breaking up with Gigi because she, Gigi still has feelings for her ex and then you know everything that went on with her father and she finally this like this season they really showed a different side of Danny that a more fun spontaneous loving caring person because in the other you know seasons she's like cold she doesn't show emotion always crying always upset so I really like the way they you know they played Danny's character for this season and hopefully you know she can find true love if there is a next season but I, at this point I really feel like Roxy is her match like they really understand it one another on a whole nother level and i'm also you know happy that she and sophie you know danny and sophie could be friends and regardless of everything that happened with them the whole wedding the relationship situation cheating situation they could you know grow out of it and step forward and actually be genuine friends and care for one another there was something also very mature you know from both of them to see them grow to that extent you know and at this point i really really hope there will be another season i don't know i will do my research and see but i was reading that they said there was a season finale but i just feel like the way it ended i don't feel like it is season finale i don't know i don't think so but let me know your thoughts down below in the comments if you guys feel like roxy or Dree, which do you guys feel like is a perfect match for Danny and why I would really appreciate you know your opinion down below in the comments as well and once again thank you thank you so much for all the love and all the support and drop down below in the comments as well what are your personal opinion on season 3 of the Elbow Generation Q it came to an end I'm sad you know but it wasn't the best season for me but I also really enjoyed watching it for me I would personally read it like an 8 you know I wish it was better I wish we had more i don't know just more life to it you know it was kind of very simple and very straightforward but it is what it is hopefully we will get another season but yes guys this is basically it let me know your thoughts down below in the comments please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and also let me know if you guys would like to see gg and Ed back in the picture and how would gg and know how would dan and gg you know how would their impact you know seeing each other after you know this whole situation between them happened so yes guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video until the next until the next video and goodbye